right, so let's move on to sales tax. Um, so we've set some defaults here uh, across the board of 8% uh, sales tax varies um, across uh, across the different states um, and specifically for some of the suppliers uh, who only have like um, shipping facilities in certain states, they only have to charge sales tax uh, within those states themselves. So, um, you know, and you could always drop that if you see that, that a lot of your orders, um, you know, so like if we're factoring like a 5% tax and you're shipping to a state where they don't have a shipping facility, then you're going to make an extra 5% on that order, which is nice. But, you know, just think about all the items that you may not be competitive uh, on because you have the 5%, right? So it's like a bit of a balancing act. I'd say a safe place to start is, between, you know, somewhere between 2 and 5% on those. You could always drop it down or up from there. So, so by saying 3, it's like, okay, so sometimes it might be a 6% or 7% or an 8% sales tax, but in a lot of other cases it'll be zero and you'll just get an you'll have an extra three percent so you'll you'll be able to you could change this you could change this over time you know you just see how see how that works see what's going on you know if you feel if you feel you want to get a little bit more aggressive with it try it out for a couple of days a week uh if you want to get less aggressive with it and you want to make more profit no matter what so maybe you'll have a little bit less sales but you'll make more profit you could add to that at any point in time okay so now the things on the right hand side, the green uh, buttons, those are all enabled, um, right? That's auto assign shipping. Um, and what auto assign shipping means is that uh, these source sites uh, that we're selling on, um, they have certain th shipping thresholds in which when you cross through them, uh, you'll, you'll be eligible for free shipping. And we'll send that to your uh, repricing engine so that you can set your minimum and maximum selling thresholds. Now. The second you go from $34 to $35 on, on Walmart, let's say they change the pricing and now it's a $35 product. Now uh, the $599 will automatically within our system be changed to 0.00, .00 because uh, you know once you cross that threshold, now you're eligible for free shipping. Now between the $34 and the $35, so you added $1 in price of the item, but you took away $599 shipping, so almost $6. Right, so that that's a whole new spread, and it makes you eligible to sell more. Um, and so we we fluctuate the adjustments of those things for you. Uh, conversely, if you drop below uh, those thresholds, um, then we'll add the 599 shipping for you.